Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Evan and welcome back to my channel for yet another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make everyone's favorite texture, normal maps. Um, basically, this is what a normal map looks like. Uh, let me scroll this up. Uh, this is a great example of a normal map. You can see that it is kind of a uniform uh, pinkish purplish color and it has like a lot of smooth details and everything. This is what a good normal map should look like and this is the result I was getting for a little while. It was very frustrating and I had to spend a lot of time fiddling with my settings in order to get r good results. And that's what I'm gonna do right now, show you all my settings and everything and how I got this instead of this, which is garbage. Okay, so basically, and also uh, the asset that I was doing this with, you can see right here, I'll show it to you real quick. Um, basically, it's like a spider monster thing uh, I'm making for a horror game. Uh, it's not like an actual game or anything, it's just practice, but you can see right here, this is what it looks like without a normal map, and if I scroll up and go to the texture and plug in the normal map that I have, it looks beautiful. It has all sorts of detail and everything, and that is detail that I got from the high poly sculpt, which we have right here. Um, let me just drag it out, and you can see that they look extremely similar, because it's the job of a normal map, but if we go into the unshaded mode, you can see the differences, which are astounding. This, while it looks amazing compared to this, actually has like hundreds and thousands of like, just tons of geometry where it's just so many triangles, it's not even funny. Uh, if you tried to plug this into a game engine, it would end terribly. You would be dropping frames. And if all your models have this kind of topology, it's gonna crash your game and it's gonna be a nightmare to work with and or animate, it's just bad. Um, but if your model looks something like this, which is the, like, I did retopology and basically traced over the model to get this, it looks a hundred times, well, it works a hundred times better in game, but it looks terrible, as you can see. But if you have a normal map, it actually copies most of the details very well and will work in game engines just fine. And so I'm just going to hit Command Z a couple times and make sure that they're overlapping, which they need to be for you to bake the details from one model to another. Basically, the computer's just going to uh, read what details are, like the, the differences between the models, make you a normal map that basically brings all the details from the high res model down to the low res model that you can use in game engines and whatnot for very little computational power. And now that I've gotten my rant about how these things work out of the way, let's actually get down to this. Uh, first thing that you need, you need to do is make sure that your model has a UV map. So you do that by pressing A under the edit mode in the UV editing tab. And you can see my model actually already has UVs, but um, I'm going to um, show you how you would make um, a UV map if you didn't have one. You'd press A to select all of your vertices and then press U and then you would either press unwrap or smart UV project, depending on how you want your UV map to be shaped. Personally, I prefer unwrap, um, just because I've noticed that when you have like decent seams and stuff, that gets me the best results. But either one works, it depends on the model. If one doesn't work very well, try the other. But now that we have that all done, let's go back over to the shading tab. And actually, we're going to go back to the UV editing tab because we need to do something real quick and that's create the texture we're going to bake our normal map to and the way that we do that is go to image um new we're going to call this another normal map and you can name it whatever you want obviously already the camera just died so what i'm going to do is continue this without the camera because you know you don't really need it um, okay, so another normal map, we have all the dimensions done, we're going to press OK, and now we should have a blank texture, and then we're going to go to image, save as, um, just put it anywhere you can get it real quick, for me that's right on my SSD, save as an image, PNG, and then we're going to go back over to the shading tab, and drag that image that we just made in, so I need to go to uh, my SSD, <laughs> and then go to this, here it is, another normal map, drag it in. Uh, make sure it's set to linear. That's where, if it's set to any other setting, I've gotten pretty mixed results, but linear works really well for baking normal maps in, like in Blender and then using them in like Unreal Engine. So that's what I like to use. And if we go over to the image viewer over here, we can actually select what we just dragged in, another normal map. 
right there. A big old blank texture. And now we can actually start doing our bake settings, which you'll need to switch your render en engines from EV to cycles, just like that. I prefer to set the max samples to one. And then, because uh, basically it doesn't matter how high your samples are, it's not gonna give you a better normal map from what I can tell. It just takes it longer to render. So once you set your max samples to one, scroll down and then under the bake tab, I have all these settings ready from when I recorded my last normal map. And um, basically we're gonna wanna do bake type normal. Um, in this situation, we're not gonna bake from multi-res. Um, space is tangent, selected active, make sure that's clicked, yes. And then under that, set your extrusion to somewhere around 0.05M. That's gotten me the best results, but if you're having trouble with baking, I would recommend tweaking this slightly if it looks almost good, but like there's a couple parts poking out on the normal map. Just like, so, um, just fiddle with this and that should give you better results. Max ray distance, I have set to zero, which basically means that it has no limit, which works best for me. Uh, target is image textures, clear images, adjacent faces, yada yada. Pretty sure all this is um, already like that by default. And now that we have all our settings, we can just bake. So make sure you click on the another normal map and then go to your models. Uh, select the high poly model first. You can see right here, the one with the high detail and then shift click your lower detail uh, model and then press bake. You can see right here, we have actually a little loading thing for the texture. And uh, once that's finished up, I'll be right back. Alrighty, we just got done rendering it, and you can see right here we have it, and it looks beautiful. Um, you can see it, it, it's basically exactly the same as my other normal map. And the way that I did that, I was actually having some really weird issues just now, and if you're also having issues, the normal map, it looked fine in Blender and it worked, but when I tried to import it into Unreal Engine and flip the green channel, I was getting all sorts of weird issues where it would turn purple and stuff. If you're having those same issues, make sure you have everything selected and just redo the baking process. Have this uh, texture that we're baking to selected, but make sure it's set to non-color instead of linear. Um, apparently that fixes it because I just, you know, fixed it. It works now. Um, just remember, normal maps are really fiddly, so if you're having issues, just Go ahead and go back and tweak things a little bit and try again and again. Um, patience is key because these things are really annoying sometimes. But now that we have this all baked and uh, make sure that you save it because by default, it's actually just going to leave the image blank. And if you don't save it, it's going to undo all your progress. So go to this image and then save as or save. You can just press save and it'll save it to the actual um, texture automatically that you made and dragged in. But um, now we're just going to go over to Unreal Engine and I'll show you how, you know, you flip the green channel. Um, you can either do that in here. The way that you would do that is you have the normal map and you would like do some weird node stuff, but you actually don't have to. Um, we can drag in our texture, which is right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Easy peasy. And then... Uh, they actually have a setting for this. If you just, over in Unreal Engine 5, if you just uh, double click on the texture and then go over to this little panel over here and like uh, type in flip. And you'll see right here, it says flip green channel, click true. And then after a second, it'll do this. And that's how I import my normals. And you can see right here, I actually have the creature that I'm working on in game. And it is beautiful. Um, you can see the normal map at work doing all the heavy lifting here. Uh, we can actually delete this and I can actually play the game. Uh, um, it's a little bit janky because I'm very inexperienced when it comes to, you know, putting models into Unreal Engine and whatnot, but it's like really cool, like finally seeing my work like this. And uh, yeah, I might do some more tutorials in the near future. I'm teaching myself a lot of things and everything. Alrighty, I think that's going to about do it for today's video. If you found it helpful, uh, feel free to like and subscribe and all that stuff. I'm going to be making more stuff like this in the near future. Um, also, if you're having any issues or anything, feel free to comment down below and I'll try and answer as many questions as I can. And um, I'll have a link to the Discord in the description. I have a Discord where you can join and show your Blender renders and whatever work in progress you're doing. Uh, where you can get some feedback or whatever or just show it off to some people. And uh, we also uh, do tech support where we can. 
Like if you're really having trouble or whatever, and there's people available, they might be able to help you figure it out. But um, anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you may be, and adios. Thank you.